The sheriff says a deputy was shot this evening by a teenage suspect in the town of Cameron in Harnett County with news that the suspect has now been captured. I can tell you that Mario Alexander Garcia III is in custody at this point. 16 years old, responsible for shooting this deputy in the chest as well as in the face. Miraculously, this deputy is alive. He is actually talking. The sheriff says that he left the hospital just a few minutes ago and said that he actually had a conversation with this deputy. I was there with him, his wife, and his mother, and he is uh, in stable condition. He was able to talk with me, and uh, we had a good conversation under the circumstances. He's a very lucky young man, and um, but at this time, he, he is going to require some surgery because he was shot in the face and in the chest. Um, the one center mask, uh, that's what the vest we wear, and that, would, that pretty much saved his life. And then, of course, he was hit in the uh, temple or in the cheekbone, went in one side and came out the other. So a very lucky young man. Lord was with him, and we just want to give praise, and Lord to, uh, praise and thanks to the Lord. Now, with that said, the call came in this afternoon. Um, the deputy was following up on a investigation of a missing juvenile that was reported yesterday. And at uh, 6.34 this evening, the uh, deputy was following up on a, a tip down here. When he came up on him, um, the suspect, they got into a scuffle and he pulled a gun out and shot him. And the deputy was able to call in, shots fired, I'm hit. And, um, and then, of course, for the last several hours, we've had agencies, and um, if you'll just bear with me, they're going to be bringing me that information, but we've got multiple agencies here. I had sheriffs as far away as Orange County, Durham County, offering their assistance. Um, and uh, right now on scene, I can tell you, we had the sheriffs, I mean, Wake County Sheriff's Office, Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, Federal PD, um, and all of uh, Harnett County Emergency Management, uh, the state uh, highway patrol, their helicopter was down here. We had drones down here from different counties. Uh, I just can't say enough uh, with, with all the uh, support that we've gotten. I'm, I'll open it up now to any questions that you may have. Is the suspect in custody at this point? That's another reason I was a little bit late. We now have him in custody. Uh, it was a 16-year-old. He is the one that was entered missing yesterday, and we were following up on the investigation. And uh, I can tell you his name is Mario Alexander Garcia III, 16 years of age. Are you all familiar with him at all? Does that name uh, come up in any other? Uh, at this time, yeah. I don't know because, like I said, I was down there with family most of the time at the hospital and then got right back up here, and that was information. Uh, we, we knew we were getting close to him. Uh, and I was trying to hold off till to the last minute. Hopefully I could get everything to you as we have now. Um, but he was entered yesterday, and that's why we were looking for him Who or last night at 8.13. Who reported him missing? Uh, I don't have that information right now. Where was the suspect found? Uh, he was found down here behind cable furniture down a, a dirt path. Um, it's probably 300 yards down there. There was nothing to indicate it that I know of at this time. Where, where exactly did he approach the suspect when he saw this young man? Uh, where, where did they uh, have that confrontation? Just down here. Um, right down here, there's a church, Spout Springs Church, in the parking lot, and he confronted him there. Are you identifying the officer? Yeah. Uh, I, I can. He has uh, Deputy James Eric Cook. E R I C A. Or E R I C. Cook, C-O-O-K. Yes, sir. And how long has he been on the force? He's been with us probably close to eight years now or more. Sheriff, how old is he? Uh, I'm not sure of Eric's date of birth right now. I mean, this is a, a 16 year old we're talking about here. How, I guess, shocking, surprising is this? Uh, well, you know, we, we, we are faced with these every day. We don't know what, when we approach them, what they have um, or don't have. 
It's just the, the, the fact um, this young man, we don't know at this time where he got his gun from. Uh, it appears at this time it was a 45 caliber handgun. When you spoke with him at the hospital you said tonight? Yes, ma'am. What exactly was that conversation? Was he able to tell you anything about the interaction, the scuffle, the altercation? What exactly did he say tonight? The best thing I can tell you is when I walked around the corner, didn't have his eyes open, but evidently he heard me. He said, Sheriff, I'm okay. And uh, and then we talked, and, and I reassured him that we were there for him and praying for him, and that his wife, we had her on the way, and his mother. and. Uh, it was just reassuring to me when I walked around the corner that he wasn't hooked up to a whole lot of machines. And I mean, he's, he's got some issues he's still got to deal with, but at the end of the day, he's alive and he's going home to his family at some point in time. And you said that vest really saved his life. I'm sorry. You said that bulletproof vest really saved his life. I gotta, I gotta say that, cause that, that and the good Lord, because he was hit center mass right here. He was hit at close range um, when he was shot to start with. Do you know how soon after he approached this young man that the shots were fired? I don't. Okay. I, I don't think it was a long period of time because he was, I think it was uh, probably less than 100 to 200 yards from the car. From his cruiser? From his patrol car, yes, ma'am. And the 16-year-old didn't have any criminal record that you know of? That I know of right now, no. Where is he from? I don't have that information yet. I, like I said, I was waiting to the last minute. I knew we were close to getting him, so I didn't get all that information uh, to be able to give you, but I did want to be able to report to you um, that we did have him in custody. And, and it, it, it comes from so many folks out here, the support we have from other agencies. And uh, I think this is the agencies I can now tell you uh, that were involved with this. Spout Springs Fire and Rescue, Anderson Creek Fire and Rescue, Harnett County Emergency Services, Harnett County EMS, Harnett County Fire Marshal's Office. We had Wake County Sheriff's Office, Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, North Carolina State Highway Patrol, Federal PD, North Carolina DMV License and Theft, Lee County Sheriff's Office. And also tonight, we also shut Highway 87 down because we knew the general area where we were at, we didn't want him to be able to get out there and possibly carjack someone, uh, and we could keep him in a confined area. Also, I want to apologize for any of the folks out here. We did have to shut the carnival down this afternoon, um, but that was because we wanted to keep everybody as safe as we could. And again, how were you all able to track him down exactly? Was it the, the chopper you had in the air? Was the it chopper the and the canines, everything. Just everybody working together is how we were able to, to get this gentleman. Uh, we weren't going to stop till we got him, no matter how long it took. We weren't going to stop. And, and again, all these other sheriff's offices and police departments are calling me and texting me, offering their assistance. So uh, I, I just want to say thanks to everyone involved. Did he say anything when he was caught? I don't know. I left right. As soon as they told me they had him in custody, I came up here to meet with y'all. Sheriff, do you know what kind of charges he might uh, be facing or potentially facing? I, I don't even. Uh, whatever we can get him with, that's what we're going to do. It is now open, yes, ma'am. Can we assume he'll be held at the jail? He, uh, yes. So, uh, I think I saw a, uh, I guess it would be one of the police officers there that came up and did speak, but I didn't get his name. They were there also. Okay, but the, he's in the hospital. At what hospital is that? Well, he was at Cape Fear. I'm not sure uh, they were talking about moving him to Chapel Hill because of the surgeries he'd have to have on his face. But when you talked to him, he was in Cape Fear? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I did not leave him until his wife and him got there, and then I went to get up here as quickly as I could. Uh, but the, he's a great officer. All of our officers are good, but he, he's a very, very lucky young man. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. Well, he opened his eyes and was looking at me when I was talking to him. So, uh, and and I think, I think that uh, no, was good. Thank you so much.